High Performance Department is about 16 months old uh, and encompasses three major technical buckets for, for US soccer. Uh, the first bucket is uh, sports medicine, which encompasses everything from physicians, athletic trainers, physical therapists. Uh, the second bucket is sports science and performance, which includes sports scientists, SNC coaches, uh, nutritionists and psychologists. And the third bucket is uh, performance analysis, which is to optimize our in-game performance, opposition analysis, and pre-game analysis of all our opposition. So it's 39 days to qualification, 285 days to the first game in the World Cup, 134 training days with a national team, and there's 22 national team games between now and the first game in the World Cup. So now it's about, for me, individualizing more and more the support for every single one of you and now we've got a um, full medical team in place, you've got access to psychology, you've got access to a dietitian who we've been using since January, and there's kind of a whole team support behind you guys the whole way. It's kind of go time. The decision to formalise like a high performance team was a good one because there's so many things that affect a player, you know, it's not just the soccer, it's all the other pieces. And I think, you know, we've done these pieces, but there wasn't this formal structure of who owned what. And I think now there's clarity, there's full time people on board. And I think that only benefits, you know, not just my job, but obviously the players and their ability to perform on the field. I think having all of these resources available for us just makes our job so much easier in it really allows us to perform at our absolute highest level. I think ultimately, you know, as a coach, you want to make sure that all the pieces are maximizing what a player does. And so for myself and my staff, having the analytics group, breaking down information and data, get more information about ourselves, potentially our opponents. And then, you know, we've had sports science. Don has done a fantastic job to make sure that we are balancing our players in terms of, you know, physical demands, expectations, and making sure that we have goals that can come in place to help us be, you know, an incredibly fit team to be able to perform. And then I think, you know, the final piece, which I, you know, sometimes say is the glue, is the health of the players, and that is the training room. The number one goal for, for that crew is to make sure we have players available for selection, and that starts with being proactive and then obviously dealing with injuries as they come in. Coming into this big stretch of the year, I've really appreciated that they've brought on a sports psychologist and given us this outside resource to help us with the mental side of the game and I think it will go a long way with keeping the team connected and keeping every individual performing at the very best that they can. So you come talk to me about anything that's going on in your sport world or affecting your sport performance? Because we know at this level everything that goes on in your life has the ability to impact your sport and everything in your sport has the ability to impact. Our players need to be in a good space physically and mentally but most importantly is making sure that they leave here able to perform and you know, come back in and, and get after it in qualifying.